to in today's video we will see how to solve this error which we get to when installing PostgreSQL in Windows 8. So it is saying non fatal error occurred during cluster initialization. So what you have to do in this case is just first of all First of all, go to your C drive and in your program files folder. And uh, I have already deleted the folder PostgreSQL. Uh, oh, I have it again. So you have to find this folder and if you find an installed application file over here then you can double click on that to uninstall your earlier installation and after that you have to just delete this folder completely so that you can ensure that earlier failed installation is completely removed now you have to go to your c drive right click and get a new folder over here name it post grade sql and open this folder and we will create another folder over here name it post grade sql data so we will need this folder when it is asking for data directory so now move to the finish installation again and i will just look for the installation file so here it is so so you guys you have to run your installation as administrator so we will just run it again as administrator it is ask uh, it is going to ask for permission click yes and installation is going to start again so this is a fresh installation of latest version of PostgreSQL you can download it from Google So it is installing now, so you just have to wait for some time. So setup has started now, click on next. And now it is asking for installation directory. Remember we have created a directory in C drive. So go and select that and press okay. Next and next again. Now it is gonna ask for data directory and again we have created that already so this is the data directory and select this now press next so it is gonna ask for a password remember this password is gonna be used later so you have to remember this so same password in both the fields and next so it is asking for port just let it default <coughs> and choose the locale over here and press next so now it is gonna install postgreSQL in your pc it 
it is going to take some time so you have to be patient about that So I will just pause the video for some time so you don't have to waste much time on watching this. <coughs> So installation is about to get completed, still it has some time left. And remember guys, if this video work for you, then don't forget to subscribe the channel and share the videos. In future, we are going to come up with more videos with more solutions for errors and we will keep working on that. So, don't forget to keep it bonds. this is the point where we have got that error last time so if it doesn't give any error this time then possibly it's gonna be installed without any errors so we will just wait till it finishes the installation So now it is sitting again for the cluster and hopefully this will work this time. So it has given the error again, but don't, don't mind this error this time. Just press OK and let it complete the setup.
so setup has finished now click on finish now we will just look for running it so we have to look for pg admin 4 So here it is, now you have to run it and make sure you have XAMPP installed and you have started these two servers already. So you have to close these two servers because these are just stopping Postgres from starting its own server. So no need to start them. And your admin server is now working over here. So for connecting to server, you have to click on add new server. So what is the server name? I will just use localhost and here also you have to write the same thing and this is default port this is database this is username and here comes the password you have entered in the beginning try to save it So you can see your Postgres database has now connected and you have to remember the password and that's all guys that's how you can just install your Postgres database server. So I will just tell you again about what to be done. So if first time your installation fails then you have to go to your program files and find your postgres sql server folder and delete that completely remember you have to first uninstall that and then you have to delete that for uninstalling you will just find this file in that folder just double click on that and let it uninstall the setup after that delete all the files from that 
postgresql folder then go to c drive create a new folder and a subfolder with the name postgresql and then just continue with the video so that's how you can use postgresql thanks for watching guys and for any errors you can just comment on the video